Hi, this is Kirk with Forex Strategy Secrets. In this video, we want to share with you some ideas on how to move from smaller time frames to larger time frames. The reason being is you want to learn how to make more money with less effort and uh, save time. The concept is to learn how to find high probability trades in no matter whichever time frame you're, you're trading in, and then move on to the larger time frames to learn how to make more money. So there are two basic steps in this process. First, you need to be able to find a trend on a larger time frame, and then go to the smaller time frames to time your entry. Let's do a couple of examples. First of all, let's start to find a trend on a four-hour chart. We can see that the trend right here was going down on a four-hour chart. And there's an, another discussion as to how to find those trends, but you can visually see what we're, the concept we're talking about, trading in the direction of the trend of a larger time frame. So then we're going to use the 30 minute, 15 and 5 minute as the t uh, small grouping time frames to uh, time your trade and gain more experience because you'll have more opportunities in these smaller time frames. So first of all, we know that from this line right here, we're trading in the direction of the trend of a 4 hour time frame. 30 minute confirms that. It's also uh, moving in that direction on the 30 minute. The 15 minute confirms it as well. But we don't see any entry signals until right over here. But what if you were looking at a five minute time frame? Then you would go from the five minute and go back up to the 30 and the 15 to, to confirm the direction of that trend. So right in here, you get in, you make a, a small number of pips. And it, the trades are all gonna be uh, vary from size. You can see a larger number of pips here, a small number here, a large number here. And as I scroll across, you can see that there are many instances where you have opportunities to trade going in the direction of that trend on the four hour chart. Now let's move up to a grouping of three time frames and uh, trade the uh, some larger time frames using the four hour as the larger time frame to time the trend and going to the one hour and the 30 minute to time our entries. So we see the four hour here again and we move to the one hour. The one hour confirms four hours going down and on the 30 minute then we can start to see some entry signals. Right here is a a, the formation of a great entry signal. And if you know what to look for, you'll, you would understand that. But the, take our word for it, that that's an entry signal, and that would be easy to trade, so you would make a, a, a nice number of pips on that move, uh, just based on trading larger time frames. Now let's go to even a larger time frame and go to the day as the larger time frame. We can see on the day that the this is a little retracement based on this larger trend, but the small time trend based on the day is going short. And so then we would start looking for trades on the uh, four hour or one hour to enter that trade. So the four hour confirmed that that was a good time to uh, go short. And the one hour would be the time you could actually start taking trades on the one hour time frame. So in the first instance where we're using a 30, 15, and five, we were making, um, five to maybe 15 pips per, per trade going in the direction. When we moved up to the four hour to one hour to 30 minute range, we were making uh, on the trade about 80 uh, pips. And when we started the day, four hour to the one hour, we we're making over 100 pips on the, the trade. Now there are a lot of entry signals and there's, there's more education and information you have to have to be able to uh, trade and move from the smaller to the larger time frames. The concept is you can make more money uh, moving up to the larger time frames. So here we have an example of what we're talking about, the groupings of time frames. So first of all, you want to find the trend on a larger time frame. Usually the four hour for the smaller time frames. For the mid-range time frames, the four hour or the daily. And the larger time frames uh, would be the daily is what you want to find the trend. Then you have a, a target time frame. That's the main one or your larger time frame you're looking to be trading in that direction when it uh, goes up and down, up and down, when it's going in the direction of that larger time frame, then that's confirming that you're trading in the direction of a, a major trend. And then you confirm that on the 15 minute and you enter on the five minute and go for uh, a few pips. Then when you move up, you're trading the four hour, one hour, and 30 minute would be your uh, trigger. So you'd be entering based on the 30 minute, trading in the direction of the trend. And the daily, just the same thing. Daily is your target. It says, hey, the day is moving in a direction, confirms on the four hour, and then the one hour is where you'd be pulling the trigger. Uh, this way, you don't have to spend as much time trading when you move to the larger time frames. 
In summary, we want to share with you that by trading smaller time frames, you'll get more experience faster. And then as you uh, start out, you'll be only trading a few currency pairs because that will, will keep you busy using uh, the smaller time frames because they come around pretty regular. And then by getting a solid foundation, then you can move to the larger time frames and increase the number of currency pairs you trade. So this in turn will actually start making you more money. So the concept is start out trading the smaller time frames to get experience, move to the larger time frames to start making money. You need to get the experience, become good traders first, and then the money will come.